Sometimes we can say things or write things down, not fully realising at the time the full significance of what we've written or said. A classic example of that occurred in the year AD 112, when Pliny the Younger sent a letter to his emperor in Rome, namely Emperor Trajan. Pliny the Younger was a Roman governor of the province of Bithynia Pontus, which was up in northern Turkey, next to the Black Sea. For people in this position, it was quite a, a common habit for them to send letters around to one another, and also occasionally they would send them to the emperor, usually for the, their advice. It was one of these letters that he sent to the emperor where he wanted his advice on what to do about the Christians that he ended up revealing quite a lot of information about the early church and indirectly ended up defending the Trinity. Let's take a look and see what it says. To find an English translation of Pliny's letter, I went to this website, World History of Cyclopedia. Excellent website, to be honest. I've used it several times in the past. Excellent. Loads of information. Very well written articles. This one's written by Rebecca Dinova. A picture of her at the bottom there. I'll just find her. Uh, she's a professor, so she's got good credentials. So a good site and a bit of an article about it. There's two articles on this website about Pliny. One is about the man himself and his life. And this one's, as evidently by the title there, is on the subject of uh, the, what was happening with the Christians. Okay, so he'd written the letter to the Emperor Trajan. Uh, because he had various questions. The background to what was going on was they were persecuting Christians and the reason they were doing this was because Christians would not worship the emperor as God because it's forbidden. Same, It was the same goes for the Jews as well. The Jews were being persecuted for the same reason. Because they wouldn't bow down and worship the emperor as a God, then they were seen to be enemies to the, of the state. So they were persecuted for that. And the persecution took different forms, different degrees, depending on who the emperor was at the time. So he did this letter to get some further information. Uh, the letter reveals, as do other things, that uh, the Christian church had spread very, very quickly. It reached all the way to Rome and beyond. It had reached all the way to this part of Turkey, where Pliny was the, the Roman governor. And... It had just grown massively. So it was a big concern and some emperors were really concerned about it. So they were very um, keen to, to to crush crush the Christian church. So I'm just not going to read the whole letter. It's not that long, but it's a bit too longer than we need. So an individual, as it says there, an anonymous person had written a document that published a list of names. And let's have a look at what it says from that. So it says, this is the bit we're going to read through. I'll just highlight the bit I want. And to there. Okay. Others are named by the informer declared that they were Christians, but then denied it, asserting that they had been, but had ceased to be some three years before others many years some as much as 25 years they all worshipped your image and the statue of the gods and cursed christ so what he means by that is that was the test that pliny gave they had to do these three things um which it does actually say amplifying the rest of the letter they had to worship his image as a god that's the the emperor statues of the gods as you're aware the romans had lots and lots of gods god for everything little gods for everything and they had them as statues and little icons and they had to curse Christ and that was the the three tests that they had to do they asserted however that the sum and substance of their fault or error had been that they were accustomed to meet on a fixed day before dawn and sing responsively a hymn to Christ as to a God and to bind themselves by oath not to some crime not to commit fraud or theft or adultery, nor uh, not to falsify their trust, nor to refuse to return a trust when called upon to do so. So to give 
to give a, a um, to be a witness basically uh, when this was over it was their custom to depart and to assemble again to partake of food but ordinarily and innocent food even this they affirmed they had ceased to do after my edict by in which in accordance with your instructions I had forbi forbidden political associations so this was their testimony now the relevant bits here is first let me just select one part this bit here so it says they recognize that they were singing a hymn to Christ as to a God so they were committing an act of worship this letter was written in AD 1 2 so quite early on early on in the second century it was recognized that they were worshiping God here the Christians were worshiping God notice you might notice it's a lowercase g but that's because the Romans um, didn't make a distinction between the mighty God and the gods they didn't have a definite article um, and anyway Christians were not permitted to worship gods anyway they could only worship the almighty God anyway so it's re obviously referring to the making out Christ to be God so that's quite relevant because it's often said that Christians by some people anyway that Christians didn't recognize that uh, Jesus is a God that early on it came later uh, generally it's said that it happened around the time of Constantine after the Nicene Council uh, so this is evidence that it was being done as early as 112 AD now if we look to what it said in front of that we've got this and what does it say it says then denied it asserting that they had been but ceased to be some three years before others many years some as much as 25 years so 25 years before AD 112 they were commit doing these acts and of course it's pretty obvious it would have just suddenly started 25 years previously it would have been going on before that time of course for it to have spread so there you see that's that takes it right back into the first century quite relatively early on um, you know roughly speaking the 80s and uh, it become widespread so it, it destroys all those arguments about the Nazi and council etc that have put to bed on that and it's, I find it interesting because Pliny was an enemy he hit, hated the Christians or they certainly didn't like him Trajan definitely didn't the Emperor uh, definitely wanted to cease from this this habit uh, and to worship him or they were seen as an enemy uh, and his answer below uh, to his advice is quite interesting if you want to have a read of that but we see that these the enemies of the Christian church and yet in their testimony in what they've written they're actually standing up for the Trinity okay not the Trinity directly but it's speaking about Jesus being worshipped and of course it's a small step from there from the from uh, recognizing that there's a Holy Spirit was also part of the so there you go so innocent words can reveal a lot of information and that's what Pliny did in this letter so thank you for listening as always, place your comments down below and until next time, may God bless you.